Welcome to the Hour of Harvest. It is great to have you here with us and pray you will be blessed. Sit back for the next two hours and enjoy while we share the good news of the gospel. We invite you to participate along with us as we sing, pray, and read the Bible in support of one another on our journey of faith. The Hour of Harvest prayer team is standing by to take your prayer request and praise reports. You may call us at 606-464-4250 anytime during this program. May this program be a place where you feel accepted, loved, forgiven, and encouraged in the Lord. Hour of Harvest is touching countless souls with the unconditional love of Christ from the Appalachian Mountains to the Bluegrass region, across the nation, and around the world. Live from our studios in Beattyville, Kentucky, here is your host of the Hour of Harvest, Sister Margaret Drake. Good evening and uh, welcome to uh, just a few minutes of visitation here before uh, we'll again be replaying a previously recorded service. But tonight we wanted to just come by and spend a few minutes with you and knowing how that uh, everyone is so, not everyone, let me change that. Some folk are really uh, worried and upset and and scared and so forth with all the news happenings and so forth. But, you know, I thought that tonight, just since we've just got a few minutes, uh, that I want to read some scripture to you and then we'll talk about a maybe a spiritual checkup. You know, we go to the doctors for physical checkups. Well, uh, this uh, virus that's going around, it's, uh, uh, it is hitting every part of people's lives, uh, not only physically, but emotionally and mentally and, and financially. And so it's a, a deadly thing. And so we need to find out how we can cope with it, okay? We all have to cope. And uh, so let me read this scripture and then we'll talk about uh, uh, what can we do to get a handle on it for ourselves. In Matthew, the sixth chapter, starting with the fifth verse, these are the words of Jesus. And when thou sayest, uh, when thou prayest, thou shalt not be as the hypocrites are, for they love to pray standing in the synagogues and in the corners of the street that they may be seen of men. Verily I say unto you, they have their reward. But uh, thou, when thou prayest, enter into thy closet, and when thou hast shut thy door, pray to thy Father which is in secret, and thy Father which seeth in secret shall reward thee openly. But when you pray, use not vain repetition as the heathen do, for they think they shall be heard for their much speaking. Be ye not therefore like unto them, for your Father knoweth what you need before you even ask him. After this manner, therefore, pray ye. These are the words of Jesus. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For then is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Uh, continuing two more verses. For if you forgive men their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if ye uh, forgive not men their trespasses, neither will your Father forgive your trespasses. All right, Jesus giving us an example on how to pray. And if you are at loss for words uh, during this time that we're all going through, then just go to the sixth chapter of Matthew and pray like Jesus has taught us to. And, you know, that covers everything. Uh, and I'm sure that uh, that would cover this virus that's going around. So if we pray this from our heart and mean it, and then pay attention to the words that, uh, that are in there, just especially those last two, the 14th and 15th that we, that we read, um, it, it gives us a clue as to a lot of our troubles. And you might think, well, I don't like that. I don't believe that. Well, it's pretty plain. Jesus, he was the one that wrote it. And he said, if we don't forgive, then we can't be forgiven. So, okay, sometimes it takes a while. You have to work diligently on it. You have to choose to forgive. 
And then sometimes it takes a while for the, you allowing the Lord to work with your emotions to where you can actually forgive. But anyway, it's pretty plain. If we don't forgive, then he can't forgive us. A lot of unforgiveness in people's hearts. And I'm not saying what, they, what someone did to you was not, uh, I mean, there was enough to get upset over. But we, Jesus, look, we was his enemies and he died for us. And he said, if we, if we don't forgive, then we can't be forgiven. So in this turmoil time that we're living in, a lot of uncertainties is coming up in people's lives. It's talking about how even the divorce rate is going to be going up uh, because people, they bl have to blame somebody. And so they blame their spouse, which is not smart at all. Because if they're there with you, you've got to realize it's outside force, not, not the one you're married to. But anyway, we, we need to realize that we need to get in touch with God. This is the only way that we're going to overcome. So a good spiritual checkup is what we need. And uh, for most of us, or a lot of us, or some of us, uh, it's in that uh, what we need to have cleaned up and changed is our attitude toward people and our forgiveness or unforgiveness uh, that we have toward them. You know, it's real easy to hold grudges. It's real easy, but sometimes it's the hardest thing ever to forgive. But Jesus made it really plain here. If we want forgiveness, then we have to forgive. And so uh, that's what I'd like for us to do tonight. See, we're all going through the same trouble in this world. It's affecting everyone a little different. Some it's more physical, some are, it's financial, and some, you know, it's emotional or mental. And, but whatever way it's hitting us, we've got to find a way to cope. And the only way I know is to go back and see what does the Word say. And the Word says that if we forgive, then we can be forgiven. And see, some people are even uh, angry at, uh, uh, well, all sorts of people trying to blame them for this virus that's going around. I doubt if one of them had a thing to do with it. But we need to figure out where our faith is. Is our faith in the circumstance, in the environment of what we're going through right now? Or is our faith in God? When we read how Jesus said for us to pray and our faith is in this, then we, the circumstances around us is not going to loom so big because we're, we're going to know that if we abide by this, the, the words that he says here in the sixth chapter of Matthew, then, and it also says to pray, uh, give us this day our daily bread now this is where a lot of people are uh, living in fear and they're getting all uh, all torn up emotionally because they're trying to uh, uh, trying to uh, buy stuff st stockpile things because they think that they're not going to get it later but you know jesus said give us this day what we need and that's what uh, and uh, it says he already knows what we need before we ask him. So are we, are we doubting that he's able to uh, meet our needs? What I'm trying to say is let's get refocus our, <clears throat> refocus our faith and put all of our faith in the Lord and not our circumstances because we've all had uh, bad times in life. Every, if you've lived long in this world at all, you've had, uh, you've had some bad experiences. Somebody has hurt your feelings or done something to you. And, but here Jesus is telling us how to handle this. And once this load is off of us, if we have uh, followed this, this prayer and turned loose of things and uh, let the Lord have them, then we won't let this uh, current events uh, throw us so bad. We won't. We won't be panicking. We won't uh, think, "Oh, we're, we're this is going to wipe us out." No, we're. If we have peace with God, then the only way to have peace is to make sure that all your sins are forgiven and you have forgiven others, so that you can be forgiven. And many times, uh, you know, it's hard to 
actually admit that you that you still have unforgiveness. You might be been in church for a long time, but still, deep down, there's people you'd rather see um, something bad happen to than to see them live. Well, that's really a good case of unforgiveness. But Jesus said, "No, if you don't." forgive them, then I can't forgive you. So it's up to us. Our choice is our decisions. And so if we are looking at the circumstances, then it could, it could really uh, do a number on you. But what we need to do is to pray and release all of our hurts, our fears, our apprehensions, and our dreads, uh, everything that's opposite to faith. We need to turn loose of it and let the Lord have it and say, Lord, I'm yours uh, regardless of what comes. I belong to you and I'm going to stay there. So I want us to pray right now and especially for those of you that have got a little bit of cabin fever since you've been having to stay in so much. Let's even give, an, give that depression to the Lord and see if he will help us. And let's ask him to do for us a spiritual checkup uh, put his finger on what's in our life that we that we need help with it might not be unforgiveness with you it might be something else it might be fear or it might be hate or something else i don't know but god knows what's in your heart and he wants it clean let's pray father in the name of jesus we thank you for this scripture tonight we thank you for how you've taught us to pray and we want to apply this to our life on every single day. And Lord, we know that people are really troubled. Some have never been in church long enough to really know what you're like. And some have been in church long enough to find out that they're just human beings that makes mistake and inflicts more pain on people. So Father, whatever the situations are, help, the, help us all to realize it's a one-on-one -on -one with you. We cannot blame our parents. We cannot blame our neighbors or church or anybody else. It's a one-on-one. -on -one. And we know that you understand us. You want to save us. You want to forgive us. And you want us to forgive so, so that we can be blessed. And so tonight, Father, we bring all of our audience to you. We ask for a special blessing and anointing to be on them. Help them to have everything under the blood to where that if you call them tonight, they will be ready to go. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, we, uh, we'll be uh, uh, rejoining a, another program that we've had before here recorded. But uh, we're all, everyone's wanting to know, when are we going back on live services? Well, we're, we're working on, toward, what, toward that. So uh, as soon as we can get all everything kind of lined out, well, we'll be telling you ahead of time what, when or what we think we can do. There's a lot of guidelines that we have to follow, especially in a, a service like this. So uh, anyway, just keep praying with us. Pray to the Lord for your situation. And, and we know that God has the answer. He has victory for us regardless of what, it, what comes our way. Well, all right, we're going to, at this time, rejoin another program and uh, just stay tuned and enjoy the music and we'll see you soon. Good night. <laughs> 